Let's look at the resistance for a simple parallel circuit. Recall the formula for the total current entering each one of those arms or paths. I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now from this, I'm going to find an equation for the resistance. I know V is I times R, Ohm's law. And I then is V over R. I now have R, and I'm going to put it into that equation. And I will replace each one of those expressions of I with V over R. And here's what it will look like. We'll start with the total current through the battery. I can replace that with V over the total resistance. I now look at R1, the first path. I can replace I1 with V over R1. And the second path, R2, I can replace that with V over R2. Remember, all the voltages are equal. And I3, I can replace with V over R3. From this, we can now get an equation for the total resistance. Here's what we have. Notice that all the V's will cancel, and I'm left only with R. And so my equation becomes 1 over RT is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And once again, any resistors in parallel can be replaced by a single equivalent resistor according to this formula, and you'll need to practice. Let's summarize what we've learned about parallel circuits. First of all with current. The total current going into each one of the paths is I1 plus I2 plus I3. For voltage, if I have a battery connected directly to a parallel circuit, the total voltage equals V1 equals V2 equals V3. And the total resistance, 1 over RT, is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And the total voltage in a circuit equals I times the total resistance. Learn these well.